Can you hear me? That's the most important thing. Let me make sure it says you're live. Okay, this is what I need to do now uh, over on my computer because we are streaming to YouTube also, but you can't buy from YouTube. Let me mute that. Okay, I think we're good because I just kind of want to monitor the chat over on YouTube. Hello, welcome in, welcome in everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm trying to get this little standy thing to uh, cooperate a little better. Oh, I don't need that plugged in, so that might help. I unplug that and I push this. Oh, look, that helped a little bit. Welcome in, I'm seeing all the join, join, joined. Welcome in, welcome in. Hello to my YouTube people and my Facebook people. Um, I, so I'm not an Apple girl, but I went out and got this iPad so that I could do the multicast function and talk to all of you and bring you over to whatnot. Now there should be a link for you to come over. And, uh, if you've never signed up for whatnot, you will get $15 to come and spend. And you don't have to spend that in my show. You can spend that in any show on whatnot. Um, my hope is you find something here that you can take that $15 and have fun with. Thank you. I thrifted it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's so crazy. Like this whole changing of weather thing and having to go through my closet and go, whoa, wait, I just got all my summer stuff finally unpacked. And now I got to go find all my winter stuff. It's kind of crazy, but I do love that boot season is here because boot season is my favorite, absolute favorite. So today's sale is a clearance of items that have been in the niche lady shop and it's time for them to move on to new homes. So they come here at reduced prices. And here's the thing, I do have starting prices on things at the end of the show, the things that have not sold, I am open to negotiate some starting prices. Yeah, Diane, I'm just uh, I'm just helping my mental health a little bit by um, doing daily content is a hard thing. It's a hard thing, and it makes me go out and shop maybe when I wouldn't be going out and shopping. And then there's just like it's high pressure. And there is a lot going on in my life right now. Things that I can't really talk about yet. Um, things that, let's just say, have lawyers involved. <laughs> so um, I, I've been under a lot of stress, a lot of stress. And so to relieve myself of some of that stress, I just kind of went... Okay, I need a little. I need a little breather in between some things. I've also been working on a niche lady critter cam, so there are new videos going up there. And um, because, but that's like I have so much fun, like the editing for that stuff is so much fun. So I do have that. You know, if if you miss something uh, on my channel, go over to that channel and see if there's something. The kids uh, gave the dogs baths, so that's our like, little ASMR thing over there <laughs> this week. All right. So I have a bunch of goodies here behind me. Let me check over here on YouTube. So you guys just come over to whatnot if you would like to actually purchase something. Uh, so all of the buying happens on the whatnot platform, but YouTube and Facebook are for just streaming and, and kind of watching what things sell for playing along. Um, I wish I could have both chats in the same place, but this is the next best thing that I can kind of keep an eye on both places. And thus, to my YouTube people especially, uh, some things are going to happen soon. Some things are going to happen soon. And also for my whatnot people, be sure you are following me on YouTube because some things are going to happen soon. We'll just say that. Yes. Oh, you know, I will share all as I can. Hello, Thrifting Vegas. Right? I have thousands, literally thousands of videos 
if uh, you haven't been with me since the beginning, there's lots of stuff to go back and watch. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's figure out an item to start with and get this ball rolling. I do have some bougie magnets over in the buy now section. That just a purchase of a bougie magnet will get you into the uh, buyer appreciation giveaway that I always run. Let's see, what should we start with? How about, I don't know, I'm looking, I don't know. What's a good thing to start? Oh, I didn't pull those over there. Okay, I know where they are. They're easy to get. Let us start with a little cute little pair of earrings. Now that I said that, let me make sure I can find them. There they are. I'm gonna start with these really, really cute uh, cubic zirconia apple earrings. Uh, they are 14 karat gold filled made in Korea. That makes them vintage. They're on their original card, as you can see there. All right, we're going to start it off with that, right? I'm just going to do, I'm going to do 20 seconds on the clock, you guys, 20 seconds on the clock. And there we go. We'll keep this moving fast today. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad to see so many familiar faces in the chat today. So thank Dawn of Hudson Vintage for those amazing magnets. She helped me get those, and I am working on some more. Bacon Sharon 686, thank you so much for your very first purchase. And that's how we get rolling. All right, what is next? Let's do, all right, I have this amazing, is it here? Yes, I do. I have this amazing, I had to pull everything over into the rack. I got to make sure it's here. Uh, this apron is bark cloth. So for those who know bark cloth, it's a really cool vintage fabric. I do believe it's a homemade apron. I will model, I will model the apron. As you can see there, it is, it is, I'd say small woman sized, you know, I'm not a, a large woman by any means. Uh, so there we go. And it's a beautiful Hawaiian print. So I believe it is vintage fabric made into this apron and it is bark cloth. See, see the texture on that and it's great colors. It's absolutely great colors and we're starting it right now. I love the little pop-up that says, your friends are in this live. <laughs> yes, they are. I love all of you guys. I don't know what I would do without my online communities. <gasps> JTA369, first purchase. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Oh, what shall we do next? How about some little Kate Spades? We'll do some Kate Spade. So this was a surprise when I found these. Um, so I couldn't read the writing. Oops, where are you? I could not read the writing on the back of these. I knew they were signed, but I couldn't read it. So I asked the clerk. Yes, I still have them on the, the tag that they were purchased on. Um, so I said, could you can you tell me what that says? And uh, there we go, see if it comes through. She goes, um, Kate Spade. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll take those. <laughs> so I was very, very surprised these didn't sell in the niche lady shop, but here they are. Reduced price just for you guys. They are pierced. They are wonderful. They're a deep, deep ruby red is what they are. And they are starting right now. Kate Spades. Oh, Hudson Vintage is on them. She knows the name. That was the gauge. It's like people do that when I go into other sales and I start buying a piece of glass. They go, uh-oh, we should be bidding on this. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby Meyer, so very much. I hope you love them. 
I have no trash can. Is that, I hope that's a truck backing up and not like a fire alarm. <laughs> you know, that beep, 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 beep. Robert H. Lever, we announced that on Monday show. It was Picker Road as the winners. All right, let's see. How about a Cupid doll? You guys are warmed up. Let's put the Cupid doll in there. I'm going to flip the camera around now because I do have a little backdrop. There we go. There we go. Why is everything off center on an Apple device? There we go. All right. So we have a genuine Cupe has the little blue wings. We don't know who makes this one. It does not have a name on it, but there he is. And I'm going to start it at just $1 because you guys are warmed up now. There we go. Cupy is selling. To my YouTube people, yes, I am on Whatnot. There is, let's see if, the, is there a link? Yes, there's a link right down in the description of the video. And there's also a QR code up on the screen that you can scan that will send you right over if you're on a phone. A phone or mobile device is best because then you can enter the giveaways. Nancy is taking the Cupid home. Thank you, Nancy. He was a cute Cupid. The globe. Uh, I have not sold the globe. I don't know if that is still in the shop or not. I did remember. Uh, let's do, I'm trying not to do any choices just yet. Let's, oh, where is this? Oh, here it is. Okay, I have this beautiful plate that is in its original box. It is Christophe Porcelain made in Tunisia. Let us open. Oh gosh, I can't do anything from a distance. I just can't. Hey mom, how's your new foster pup doing? Okay, here it comes. It's in all of it. It's got all of its original packaging in here. And it is an absolutely stunning little dish. There's all the marks on the back. Alliance Gris Marquis, whatever that means. All of that, all of that and the original box. And it's starting. Uh, Laura me, I don't have anything scheduled out. I am gonna do a show on Monday and then I am going away for a little bit. So I don't really have anything. I will get that one up soon though. And Monday's going to be, uh, I'm going to open my, well, you haven't seen me purchase them yet, but I got uh, mystery jewelry jars. So I had to wait for the video to come out before I could literally do it. And Solarimar, thank you so much. So there will be a Monday sale. And then you just must, must stay tuned for what's coming next you just never know. I don't know why this doesn't have a picture because whatnot was messing with me this morning. Um, it is this. It's the apple. Oh, are you going to no. know? You are not going to hold the weight of that. Um, let me back this up. Let me put you here. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. As you can see, it's like a galvanized tin, uh, like a wall hanger with uh, crows or blackbirds. I guess it's blackbirds in the apple pie. And it is starting right now. Sing a song of pit six pence, a pocket full of rye, four and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie. That's where that comes from. <laughs> what did you say? For using the word for the stick to itself stuff. You really, you couldn't say Velcro? What the heck? <laughs> um, 
take nights thank you so much for your first purchase oh that's kind of hilarious when you think about it whatever whatnot <laughs> oh goodness gracious goodness gracious Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's see what uh, I have some really, really nice uh, purses today. Oh, let's do the mask. Let's do this mask. Where are you, masky mask? All right. We have this beautiful Mardi Gras mask. It's ceramic, made to hang on the wall. It is signed. New Orleans and Mask Powers is the maker name. I should have a little. Okay, come on, Danny. You've got stuff everywhere for this. Stand by. Stand by. I know I have. I know I have a stand that will work for this. Hang on. I got to pull stuff off my shelf here. Real quick. No, oh, jewelry bus. No, I don't need a jewelry bus. I need, I need a plate stand. Well, goodness. Okay. Not to be had right off. So let's see. Will you stand up? Okay. You're going to, you're going to balance. We'll balance you. Okay. You guys see it? Beautiful or terrifying? It depends. How do you like? It's mysterious. It's, yeah, it's Mardi Gras and it's starting. Sorry, guys, I really thought I had a little stand nearby, but apparently I don't. Oh, really, Brenda? Because I don't I don't get to see any of it. So I would love to, I would love to know what's getting blocked. Shoot me some screenshots, please. I must see. <laughs> Bvox first purchase. Thank you so much. Welcome in everyone from YouTube and Facebook. Appreciate you coming to hang out. Oh, I'm reading the I'm reading the YouTube comment. Madison, thank you so much. Ah, right. And that's exactly Patty the Theater Dog. So that's exactly why, because a lot of people have not been able to even get over to whatnot. So I am glad it's working. I know, right, Nancy? Maybe I don't want to know. Let's do this groovy pair of salt and pepper shakers. And I do mean groovy. Like these are, they are groovy. So 60s. Uh, they are the multicolored kind of speckled with some drip glaze. They do say salt and pepper and little raised letters. They've got their rubber stoppers. You could still use them, still very functional. S and P on the tops. They do not have any cracks, chips, or damage that I can find. They are in all their glory and they are starting right now. right isn't it great like i swear that's like that's what i need to have someday is like a mansion with all these different rooms that i could decorate all these different ways because i love so many different decorating styles but i have to choose in my little house <laughs> like i have to pick things and i don't like it i want to just decorate with all of it country cat thank you so much you got them and let's see how about some clamshell dishes these are really cool and they are vintage made in japan beautiful little clam or i guess they could be scallop shells if you want to be particular they are oven proof made in japan so they're pretty heavy duty you could cook in these and we're, I'm selling the pair together. Selling the pair together, starting at just $10. And there you go. They're running now. And sometimes just bringing these heavier things over to whatnot does help because they do that one to five pounds. The shipping is $8.35. So I'm sure that helps a lot. 
So that means, uh, so like Nancy won these, so she still has some poundage that'll now show us, you know, free shipping for her items because she's already bought some stuff. I'm all done. I'm buy bought this. Oh, you found something to buy. I bought it, yeah. My handyman's here. Yeah. Seattle. Oh, that's so cool. It's our first trip. My oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yay. Gotta love it. You bring right. you bring the handyman in to fix a vacuum and he buys something. Yeah, exactly. I love it. You gotta give back. Thank you. All right. I'll see you next week. Yep. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's do this amazing necklace if I can find it. There it is. There it is. Here it is. Nope, these are items that I have had. Uh, you will have watched me purchase them on videos and then they have gone through my process of uh, selling and uh, when they have been there for a couple of weeks then I have been bringing them over here to just kind of move them out quickly. So look at this fetish bird. I guess you still call it a fetish. They're not teeny tiny like you think of some fetish bird necklaces but Look how wonderful these guys are. You've got toucans and you've got little bougie birds. I know this is hard to sell. I, I will admit this is hard to sell, but again, I uh, cannot keep everything. I have so much in my life <laughs> that I have to just be super selective. So I, you know what? I just said I had a bunch of jewelry busts. Stand by. Goodness, Danny, use one. Just use one and be smart. There we go. If I, can, if I can get it to stay. Okay. Come on. Stay on there. Show the people how beautiful you are. All right. It's not perfect because it wants to slide off the back. Because it's a small bust. I'm just, I'm just trying to uh, finagle here. Okay. Stay. Can you stay? There we go. All right. Good enough, right? Good enough. And it's running now. Whoops, now. <laughs> oh, was somebody asking how you bid? Yep, there is a little bid button. If you're on a phone or a mobile device, it's on the bottom and you slide it. If you're on a computer, you just push it. Grandma Rose is the winner with her very first purchase. Thank you so much. I think you will love this. It's so much better in person than I am displaying it. All right, all of that. And then I just put that aside. I don't think even think I have another necklace. Let's do, what shall we do? I'm gonna do some choices. Gotta get my post-it notes ready. Make sure, let's see, post-it note and pen. I'm ready, I got this. Okay, so I'm going to do these canisters. Lovely yellow, fun, sunny, bright canisters. I had people saying, will you just sell one of them? And I thought, yes, I will, but I'm gonna do it over here on whatnot. So here they are. Uh, they are daisies, I guess, or sunflowers or daisies or what. They are ecolo, ecolo, however you say that. There, all your manufacturing yada -de yada -de stuff in there. Very clean, very nice. So you can take the short one or the tall one. And I am starting them right now it's a repurposed cake stand yes <laughs> oh felt that's a great idea i just didn't have time to do that in the moment everything's in the moment everything's in the moment
So if you are over on YouTube, the bidding is happening over on Whatnot. So there is a link in the description and there is a QR code on the screen. To, you know, some people like to scan the QR codes if you're like me and uh, your phone doesn't behave well with QR codes then there is a link right in the description that you can click to come over to whatnot and if it's your first time at whatnot when you sign up you will get 15 dollars to come and spend all right 66 brenda 48 which one would you like takes the tall one all right now we're gonna run the short one it's a great size Handy little thing would fit in the cupboard, stock your, I don't know, tea, sugar, coffee, whatever you want to put in it. And it looks like Brenda's going to get the set. I know, I really should, Laura. I, I've always said if I was organized, I would be dangerous. <laughs> Christy, did you change your name on me? Because I don't recognize that name to add you. That's why, because I set that up ahead of time. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. I think I can do it. Okay, I got you. I got you. You got your wrench. I don't know. Do they call it a wrench over here? Okay, 66 Brenda got them both. I know I said I was going to put things up on the shelf, but I started with this. this so, so nice. I mean, it works. It, it works. works. Close to you, too. Okay. Let's see. What do I have? How about a gazelle? Anybody interested in a beautiful silver tone gazelle? No, it really is a gazelle. So I have heard that the millennials say this is like all the decorating rage. Betsy, is that a thing? I'm not a millennial. Silver tones, yes, but you know you <laughs> you associate with, with them more than I do. Um, Are they decorating this with silver tones? Um, I don't know, but they should be because him cute. Right. See, you like him. Yeah. Well, that's all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, you're a millennial I have at heart. Taste anyway, but you know. <laughs> you do have good taste. All right, so it's a thing. It's a thing, this uh, silver tones kind of thing. And he hangs on the wall there. He's pretty good size, as you can see. I'm having trouble getting him all in the frame. I know, I'm thinking about Christmas gifts with this stuff that I'm bringing. It's time to think about that. Let's start him right now. All right. Or a towel holder? Oh, he, you could. You could. You hang him on the wall and he could definitely hold your towel or your robe or like he's got some long horns <laughs> or some necklaces or whatever, whatever you wanted him to do. I like how you guys think about repurposing or, or doing different things with it. Or he could be a weapon. Yes. <laughs> weapon works too. Angie, vintage trunk, first purchase. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> Conversation starter, yes. Okay, let's do, let's do, where's my, where's my shelf sitters? Let's do some shelf sitters. Hold on, you guys. Oh, you sent my mom. <laughs> that is so crazy that Velcro was muted. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Um, Where was I? What, oh, anthropomorphic shelf sitters. Okay, so one of these guys, one of these guys is missing an arm. But that all the rest of them are fabulous. I'm still including him just in case somebody wants the pineapple so bad you're willing to dismiss the fact that he is missing an arm. But we have a strawberry, a pear. We have grapes. 
And these are pretty good sized ones too, guys. These are not teeny tiny. And we have an orange. Orange, you're going to have to sit down here and do that. Stand by one second, guys. I need to do something real quick. Oh shoot, computers are not my friend. Okay, done, all right, taken care of. Oh, what do you, oh, do you guys ever like do something on your computer and you lose your, uh, the little bar where you can type stuff in? <laughs> yes. Oh, you would just take the other arm off. See, I knew somebody could do something with it. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start these. It is choice, and they are running now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. This auction is rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Ride. I actually found that soundtrack, and I played it in one of my recent videos because I'm talking about it all the time. DeWitz gets the first choice. Which one would you like, my friend? Which fruit shall it be? I love anthropomorphic things. Yes, isn't the pear? He is, he is pretty fabulous. He's a hugger, too. <laughs> okay, orange. Guess what? You get to move up with your buddies here. There you go. All right, we're running them again. They are running again. Music has been in my bones since I was little. So my mom's in the chat. She will tell you, we used to go to the Shakey's Pizza Parlor and they had the Nickelodeon there and he would play the piano and entertain. And I would get up there on a stage and I would dance and sing. And when the audience clapped for the Nickelodeon, I thought they were clapping for me. <laughs> How old was I, mom, when that, when that was going on? Becky takes the grapes, is taking the grapes. Boop. All right, we're running again. I was three, see? <laughs> Yes, there is a video out tonight, something a little different than my norm. I took some uh, artistic, uh, creative uh, license tonight and did some, I just threw some fun stuff. There's lots of doggies in tonight's video. Lots of doggy butts. <laughs> oh, Lady Lala, I hate hearing that. Uh, so Whatnot does handle the refunds, but I would love to know if you message, if it was something of mine, please message me and let me know. Uh, so if it's something that we need to look at, you know, my shipping department needs to handle a little better. But I do not like to hear that something arrived broken. Darn it. All right, we're running them again. We got a strawberry and an orange. Oh, Laura, me, did you watch it? So I have a thing where members uh, of the Niche Nation get to watch as soon as I release the video. Hmm. Yes, I am so sorry. Yeah, I will. I will get back to you on that tonight. I will get back to you on that tonight. Blooper videos. I gotta figure out how I save the blooper footage someplace where I could go back and access it to put it all together somewhere again. That's my downfall is the organizational part. Takes the strawberry. Okay, little orange. Okay, little guy. Here it is. It's your chance to shine. You're the last one and he's running. He's got such a cute expression. Happy fruit. It's all happy fruit. Okay, so how many of you got your Halloween stuff put away today? Or yesterday? Nancy. 
Nancy's taking Mr. Orange. Oh, it wasn't running for you? Hmm. I had to wait for my handyman. He comes on Thursdays. So <laughs> I don't climb ladders. Ladders are ladders are no good for me. Yeah, go out and come back in if it's glitching. You started on Christmas? I don't know if I dare start on Christmas yet because it's an HOA. They might have something to say about that. Okay, I'm going to do these big eye girl prints. This will be a choice. Again, let me see if I can get them to stand up. Let's see if I put this up here. A little extra. Oh, come on. Stand up. Oh, there's one. I'll adjust the uh, camera in a moment. These are 1960s. Oh, are you going to stand? Oh, you are going to stand up. Okay, they're going to cooperate. Look at these. Look how cute they are. They are by Lee. They are 1960s. They are just absolutely fabulous. And we are going to run them choice starting now. Yeah. Oh, I have so much Christmas. So I put up a whole um, uh, Rudolph and the Misfit Toys display, which includes a 12-foot bumble. <laughs> I love my bumble. I'm checking over on the YouTube. I don't have Facebook pulled up. So if you are on Facebook, I'm not seeing your chat. But I am seeing YouTube. I think I can only handle watching two at a time. <laughs> The yellow background. Let me put this down for a moment so I can move her. All right. All right. Now we are going to sell this girl. She's running. Does your HOA have a Facebook group you could ask about Christmas decorating? I don't think they do. Don't think they do. I think they barely, they barely have a board. <laughs> like, well, they're just in the middle of like, regrouping right now so i i'm not quite i'm not quite ready for the christmas to go up i've got to do some planting in the front yard first all right thank you little white quail let's see what's oh let's do these dainty little glass sculptures you know what i have i didn't realize i had three so let me just change the quantity real quick to three. I am so proud of myself for figuring out an iPad. I got to tell you, you guys, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I'm just saying. Okay. I've got these little spun glass. Now, two of them are pretty much the same. So I'm just going to put two up here. So you have a humming, oh yeah, he's a hummingbird with his very, very long little beak dipping into the flowers there. So we have the hummingbird and then you have a basket. This is spun glass and you have a basket with a little nest. Looks like it's supposed to be a nest in there. And then the two little birdies on the top. And I have a second one of these. So I will, you know what, I'll just, why not? Put it up there so you can see. Is the cake stand glass? Nope, it's metal. I think it came from like Hobby Lobby or something. Okay, I am starting this right now at $1. They are running. Running, running, running. Get that auction running. Uh, that's a good idea about Hakata. You are so welcome, gracious lady 24. All right, country cat, which one would you like? Takes the hummingbird. You got it. Okay, 
So you're basically, you're bidding on a bird. These are the same. You're bidding on the bird in the basket. I still feel bad I haven't got my hummingbird feeders put up yet. Mostly because I haven't found them all yet. You know, I found a couple of them. And I'm like, oh, I'll just wait and do this when I have them all. And uh, I really, that's another reason I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm trying to take my extra time and do some things around the house and get my house set up because I, I've been there now for what? Let's see, August, September. Oh yeah, three months and I'm still not unpacked. And it's time to be unpacked. And Linda Les, Linda Les. Oh, here, I don't need to ask you which choice. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna put this aside. Um, actually, you know what? I just realized that one's got a boo-boo. So it's good that I'm putting that one aside. Maybe I'll just put it as a uh, giveaway choice if somebody wants that one. So glad I spotted that before I sold it. Okay, why is this thing? Being so weird, it's um, it keeps reverting back. Okay, okay, all right. Do I have any tiki fans? I'm gonna do this. Frankie's new in the box. I mean, it's this is brand spanking new in the box. I know it does seem like yesterday, right? Yeah, I'm so ready to be unpacked. I really. I'm really ready to be unpacked because there's things I'm missing and I want to find them. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of the box, but it is brand, look, it comes, it's still got its, its bubble wrap. These are extremely collectible in the tiki world because they're limited. So they put out a tiki mug and there's only so many and then they, like, they move on. These are 2008. I do believe. So Frankie's Tiki Room is actually here in Las Vegas. So I'm sure that's how this ended up in a Goodwill. But this is a like a slot machine Tiki mug. I have seen them selling for upwards of $75. So I figured I'd be somewhere around half price of that. And he's running. Great gift if you have somebody in your life that is into collecting Tiki mugs. Yeah, there's just, you know, at the storage unit, there is no reception. That is the problem. I will do, I will do a house tour soon. Okay, no takers on Frankie. We can come back to it if somebody comes in at the end or at the end, I'll go through. And if there's something you guys want to give me an offer for rerun at 35, you got it. I'm going to rerun it at 35. I will do that right now. Let me see. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Ah! Stand by. Stand by. Edit. I can figure this out. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Okay. I think I did it. It's updating. It's still pinned and lowered it down to a $35 start and it's running. There you go. That's how this can work. So uh, that's the other thing too. Like I'm getting, I'm getting just, I'm just getting more organized and I can't always film it all because when you're filming, it is distracting from what you're actually accomplishing. Um, so all of my, some, not all, I do film some, but, but a lot of my organizing and that kind of stuff, I just dig into it and do it without having to think about like how it looks on camera. Vivid view design, you got it. Um, but I did put up some more shelving today that is specifically for my little projects because I want, I want more time to do that and be organized and I got stuff in the garage. I got stuff in my office and I just want it all in one place all in one place. So I'll give it, I will give a tour of that pretty soon. But I did show my pumpkin hoard in today's video. For those who've been wondering, I talk about my pumpkin hoard a lot and I actually showed um, footage of me putting it up where I put it up. 
So you, there is that. Uh, anybody into lobster? How about a lobster dish? This is actually a big, gorgeous, beautiful, antique lobster dish. I believe he is German or Bavarian. There he is in all his glory. Uh, he's got the gold gilt and it's in really good shape. I mean, a lot of times most of this gold is gone and he's got so much of his gold. I think there was probably a little bit more here at one time. Um, like some of these, some of these feel a little sharp, but I don't see any chips. You know, I think they're just kind of crudely made that way because it's pretty, uh, what do you call it? Consistent. Everywhere there's like a pointy leaf. It feels sharp. But I'm going to I'm going to look and I'm going to show you for full transparency here. Uh but he's he's just a stunner. He's just a stunner. These again can sell for upwards of $100 on other marketplaces. And we are going to start him at just 30. And the way he goes Um, it was all of the, the, the ceramic ones. I have glass ones like throughout the house. I have blue glass pumpkins. I keep out all year long. They just are part of my kitchen. Nancy, congratulations. But yeah, that was all of my specific to fall decor pumpkins. And Jordan says, I can't keep them out all year. Should I tell her to pound sand? <laughs> because I'd like to keep them out all year. I'm just saying. If it were me. Why not? Right? Right? Okay. I think I will probably. Probably up on the ledge that I've shown in some video. I think I will. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, this is a big, gorgeous Bing and Grondel platter made in Denmark. Yes, I am going to ship a platter. <laughs> uh, there is the mark right there. It's large and in charge. It will ship by itself. Ship by itself. Oh, I got to see what you guys are saying. My house, my rules, right? Yeah, I like the way you think. All right, we are going to start this at just $25 starting right now. It is Bing and Grundle. If you are on YouTube, in the chat on YouTube, you have to come over to Whatnot. There is a link in the description of the video. There's also a QR code on the screen that you can just scan that will send you over to the app on Whatnot. And if you are new to Whatnot, it will give you $15 to come and play with. I am, Gail. I am. Indeed. The new guy only lasted a week. <laughs> No takers on Bing and Grondel. We'll just set that aside. No worries. How about some glass? Teal. Aquamarine. I think it's more of like an aquamarine. That's what we're going to call it. I think it might be Blanco, um, but I could not verify a maker on this. Couldn't do it. So it's got the look. It's got the look. And we are going to find it. Stand by. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Boop, it's pinned. All right. And it is starting now. Yep, that is true, Gail. So I have someone that I hired to replace my assistant that just quit, and she actually knows how to do shipping. So she has been getting the shipping out for me. But it's not the job that I want her to do. I want her to be my assistant. <laughs> like, that's why I'm so behind on everything. Like, 
email and all of that. We will get there though. We will get there. Baha Kata is the winner of the blue glass vase bottle. I guess it's a bottle, but you could use it as a vase or a vase. Yeah, times have definitely changed from my early days of brick and mortar ownership. I will tell you that. All right, how about some temptations? We have an oil and vinegar. They are temptations. There we go. There's our little oil and vinegar spouties, and then these close them up. They come in their little wire holder, like so. And we are starting, oh, so tempting, right? A very functional collectible. I try, Gail, I try in the day that I get, you know, things rocking and rolling better, I intend to pay more. Yeah, it's really, really different. I know it's not just me. It's just the way things are now. Um, nope, Matt went on. He got another better, better position somewhere. I don't blame him. I mean, I can't pay 20 bucks an hour. I can't do it much as I would like to. I am small potatoes. Let's see. Let's try these Rosenthal's, shall we? All right. Now, these are beautiful, but they do have a little bit of issue. So again, little ding, ding on the corner there. A little ding on the corner there. I haven't tried to do like a, a emery board or anything on them. Oh yeah, let me show you. They are marked Rosenthal. There's the Rosenthal mark. It's a very good glass. Boom. And then this one, again, I don't know what it is. Somebody banged these little edges. So that little edge and then that little edge. This has two little edge issues is why I am going to start them at just $15. There we go. And they are starting now. They do like, yeah, they do look like Batmans. Thank you, little white quail. Yeah, unfortunately, like, like shipping, I got to have somebody here for it. You love research? You know who's been learning to do research? Oh, no takers on these? Or did you guys miss that they were running? Do you want me to run them one more time? If anybody does, let me know. Or if you can suggest a different starting amount, what if I lowered it to 10? Would I have any interest at $10? Oh, thank you, Lady Lala. Yeah, I'm trying to hire two part-time people as opposed to one full-time person because then that way when someone leaves, I would have somebody else still part-time. So that is that is my goal right now. All right, just no takers on these guys. And we will pull them aside. We can come back to them later if somebody wants me to. I am not running those today because those just those just got listed in the niche lady shop. So they they stay in the niche lady shop for a little while. All right, let's try these candlesticks. Now, in researching what I found out about these is they were designed to look like the Baccarat version. The the only difference is the direction of the swirl. These are not signed. Oh, no, they're signed Taiwan. So that's how you know they are not Baccarat. 
uh, but they are the copycats of the Baccarat of the same style. Just the swirl goes a different way. And they are starting right now. Oh, I wish you were local too. <laughs> looked but weren't there oh da, 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 da. did you say the plates oh they already sold that's why the plates already sold sorry about that it should they should still be there and just say out of stock nancy is the winner of these beautiful candle holders Thank you so much, Nancy. Do I have any doggy fans? Oh, Lady Lala, you didn't need to do that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me find these doggies. Okay, so what I didn't realize was they were all taped together and um, there is one I don't know if that'll come off with like magic eraser, but it also has a little chip. So three of the coasters are, I mean, they, they have some little marks. They've definitely been used, but this is why I am starting these at just $1. Hey, maybe just, you could just keep this little guy and put different coasters in it because there's nothing wrong with this part of him. So there we go. We're going to start them at just $1. Frog, get out of my throat. <coughs> you are not welcome, frog. Oof. Yep, just take those out. Put your own coasters in. Exactly. Or business cards or whatever. Hey, Chelsea. Welcome in. Welcome in. Country Cat is the winner. Thank you so much, guys. All right. I love when stuff gets a good home. I really do. Or a cell phone. A cell phone holder. Gosh, you guys are so full of great ideas. I love it. Okay. So what else can you do with a uh, zebra hatching out of an egg? How about that? What do you do with that? <laughs> so I got told... Uh, this was in one of my uh, swap meet. I don't know if it was the recorded video or if it was it was the live shopping. But anyway, I was told, Danny, those are really, really expensive. Pick up the zebra and the egg. And I did, and nobody bought it. So now he's here at his discounted rate. And uh, what else do you do with a zebra coming out of an egg, right? Oh, it's felted on the bottom. I mean, he is kind of cool, but he does require a certain person to take him home. Let's see who that is. He's starting right now. The elusive zebra. <laughs> the elusive zebra. Now, I do have some zebra lovers. He is cute. He was something I needed to find when I was out scavenger hunting. Like, couldn't find a zebra to save my life. And there is a battle for the zebra. Oh, right, Susan Kenny? Yeah. Oh, my all zebra. Wow. Jordan had a zebra face. <laughs> Aw, yay. Vivid View Design, you got him. You are now the proud owner of a zebra coming out of an egg. You had a giraffe phase. I had an elephant phase and I had a tigger phase. <laughs> what do you do? All right, let's do these little vintage prints. They are Eva Hart. Let's see if I can... You know what? I'm going to borrow the Temptations for a moment as a sturdier stand for these. There we go. Okay, look how adorable these, oops,
Oops, these little children are. I will adjust. Look how cute they are in their little frames with the blue borders. Oh, they are absolutely adorable. You had a rock star face, but then moved on to scientists. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, you are going to get the pair. I'm not going to split these adorable children and their puppies up. Show you what the back looks like. It says uh, something kitchen or bedroom. I guess they were deciding where they were going to put those. Can you imagine putting that? How cute would those be in a kitchen? I mean, she is holding an apple after all. All right, we are starting them now. You get the pair. They are, darling. Yes. They are super adorable. Marion, um, over on YouTube, I see your comment. So if you used that link to come over, if you scroll down, it should take you to my profile. If you get to my profile, you'll see where I'm live right now. Um, or you can use the little search to type in the niche lady, all one word, don't separate the words. And it also should come up for you to get to my profile. Lady Lala is taking the little prints. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot to do these earrings. I was gonna do, I was gonna do the earrings first and I forgot these guys. Okay, since we're talking about animals, how about tigers? Oops, let me put these back over here. Yep, to type this. Yeah, Karen, they're over on YouTube making the comment. So maybe um, one of my mods or somebody could put a direct link over on YouTube in the chat for them. Because it sounds like, because this is what happens. You sign up and then... Uh, it doesn't take you directly to that person's profile that you use the link to come in, which makes no sense to me, but it should, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, so you got to search for it just a little bit. Okay. Let me elephant, elephant, elephant earrings. Where are my elephant earrings? Oh, I think I called them realistic elephant earrings. Yes, I did. I called them realistic because they are. Look how realistic they are. They're little resin tiger earrings. They're pierced earrings. Roar. Aren't they great? Very Siegfried and Roy, if you ask me. Okay, let's see if I can hold them on one hand here and start the auction. Oh, thank you, Dawn. You're the best. Perfect. Thank you, guys. But just be sure that if you've never come to Whatnot before, that you use the, the link in the description to at least sign up first so you get that $15. The direct link does not give you the $15. Yes, you see teeth. There are teeth. They have little teeth. Roar. <laughs> little roary teeth. Yep, I agree with you, cowgirl. Jewel, growing pains, I think. IMHO means in my humble opinion. Thank you, Linda. Those are coming to you. How about a cha-cha? Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Where are you, cha-cha? So these come from Rainforest Cafe. Again, very collectible and just really super fun if you love frogs. They don't have anything that says Rainforest Cafe on them. You just have to know and it's on the bottom. So they don't, I love when, when places do that as a souvenir piece so that you can display it without like all the promotion of the company. So there we go. Let's start this guy right now. I sold one of these for $25. 
Baha Kata is in the lead. And now Linda is battling. So from here, if not sold, do they go to the bay or chair ish? Um, yes. So they will, well, they'll go here in person at my store for a little bit before I decide where they go next. Linda McPhee, thank you so much. Especially the bigger items, like there's some things that it all depends on the venue shipping. Like, yeah, Cherish is a little easier to do the bigger items just because of the way things work. The Bay, not so much. Okay, guys, I know Dawn's going to die that I'm offering this for only a hundred bucks, but I'm offering this for a hundred bucks. It is the Swarovski card holder, brand new in the package. Yep. Indeed he do. Look at that. Swarovski all over it. I know. I know. I knew you were going to say that. Yep. Boop. All right. We're going to sell it. What a fabulous gift for someone. It's starting right now. She says she's used hers every day for 15 years. This one is brand spanking new. All right, we will put it aside. Put it back in its little, little, little dust cover there. This one I'm not going to lower the price on, guys. I'm not going to lower the price on that one. So if anybody's interested, I would run it again. Gotcha. I will have it probably for a while. Okay, let's see. Now I got to find stuff that I haven't run. Um, oh, let's do let's do a choice on this Easter set. Okay, I know the picture only shows the one thing because I didn't I didn't have pictures of everything else. Uh, but here's the choices. Choices are the teapot. Oops, forgot the Swarovski had another little box thing to it. Okay, so you've got the teapot that has all these little creatures on it. Very Eastery. So there's a teapot. There are salt and peppers. Now, where did I see it? This, the holder, the holder has a little chip right here, kind of on the inside but it still displays just fine. The, the shakers themselves are fine, but the holder has a little issue. Uh, there is a pair of, you get the mug, the underplate, and the saucer. So there's, it's a three piece, and then you get two of them. I just only have one hand to deal with that. So there we go. You're going to get the pair of the cups and saucers and all their little plateage. And the last choice is kind of these, uh, there's pieces here that we'll just put them together. So you get the creamer, the little bluebird creamer, and two napkin rings. I know it's a little mismatched fellowship there, but it works. All right. And we're starting it now. Just $5 for choice. One key, five cards, and a hair tie inside. <laughs> mm, I, hope, I hope not, Norma. I think legally they can't do that. Oh. You want me to run the Swarovski again? Okay, I will. When we are done with the tea set, we will run the Swarovski. Jessica, Jessica Conard, 11, thank you for your first purchase. 
Which item would you like? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Takes the teacups and saucers. You got it. I'm doing an HTH. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's run them again. Let's see who's going to get choice number two. And Jessica Conner. What is your choice number two? Takes the teapot, takes the teapot. All right, is she gonna end up with a full set? Let's find out, running again. Ooh, I guess I could bring my, my little stand back now. Just the red makes things pop so much nicer. Ooh, pop, pop things. There we go. And no, nobody wants the rest of the pieces. What if I sold it all together? Do you want you got if I if I give you everything that's left? Same starting price. Do you want me to run it? It ran, I thought. Yes. Okay, Jessica, you get all of it. Everybody, you get all of it. It's running now. We're clearing the board. We're clearing the cake stand. You're gonna get the creamer, the salt and pepper, and the two napkin rings. No more choice, you get it all. Oh, you think so? Oh, interesting. Soy Larimar has taken the rest of it. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> it's a lot of little pieces. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me clear that. Okay. This me and this iPad, we're gonna we're gonna have some words here. Okay, there we go. All right, let me find the Swarovski again. Okay, found the Swarovski again. I'm not going to take it back out. You saw it. It's in there. All tucked away. It's running. There we go. I love red. I really love red. I love blue more, but I love red too. <laughs> Oh, Hudson Vintage. Thank you, my friend. You got it. It'll last you another 15 years, right? Let's try this groovy, very, very rare lamp. So... I did not want to mess with trying to clean it. I didn't want to damage anything. So there, there is some stuff here that needs a little cleanup. Um, but when I found out the rarity of this piece, I just didn't even want to mess with it. I will leave that to the new owner. It is a nightlight. Um, again, super rare, guys. It just takes the little, the little light that goes up in there. And you can see it came from the MGM Grand Hotel, made in Taiwan. That tells you it is vintage. It was $24.95 back in the day. I'm going to say this goes back to the 80s, at least, maybe a little older. Like, when was the MGM in its heyday? It was like, it was the 80s. 80s. Yeah, it was the 80s. 
Uh, and if you look for this, guys, they sell for a lot more than what I'm starting him at. So let's see if we have any takers. We're going to run him starting now. Late 70s. Yeah, so 70s, 80s. I remember going uh, when they still had the lions as a display inside the casino. They were rebuilding the lion in 1993. Okay, no takers. It's okay. Um, this this will go elsewhere. The price will not come down on this one. He is just too rare, too rare. Then we have this guy. He is, whoop, he's big. He is Midway Majesty. He is a carousel lion. He's a replica of a 1902 carousel lion. You can see there. Now, he's meant to have a plug-in. So he's not coming with his AC adapter, but he does run on batteries as well. The batteries, I, I meant to replace the batteries before. Yeah, batteries are dead. I did have it running for a short time with the batteries that are in here, and it, and it did light up. All of these light up. There is one damaged light bulb right here. Just one. Oh, you guys can't even see me doing that. Hold on. He's big. There's one damaged light bulb right, right here. But he's absolutely spectacular. And we are going to run him. Oops, if I can find him. Where are you? Where are you, Mr. Lion? There he is. I'm starting him at just $15, guys. How about that? And away he goes. Change what the, put it back the way it was. Oh, the ad blocks the bid. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Nancy, congratulations. I hope you love him. He is really spectacular. He will be fun to ship too. <laughs> yep, yep, I know, I know. Yeah, believe me, when I, I research the prices and I bring it here at a reduced price. But some things are so rare, you just you just can't discount them. How about some purses? Shall we play with some purses? Let's try the suede Dooney. I don't need this. I don't need this for the purses. So this is a suede Dooney and Burke. It's pretty good size. You can see there uh, the zippers work. Just some minor scuffs from, you know, sitting of course. Uh, how do we know it's a Dooney and Burke? Well, there it is right there. Because it fooled me when I first found this. I'm like, what kind of purse is that? And there it was. So we are going to start it right now. I think so, Gail. I think so. You know, I like to mix it up though. I thought the only thing you can buy now is the magnet and everything else is, yes, you are correct, Joanne. The only thing I have in the buy now are the magnets. Oh, when you leave the buy now, you get pop-up ads? No, that's not cool, whatnot. That is just not cool. I do not like that. You're right. Okay. Do I not? I no purse, no purse takers today. Uh, do you guys, does anybody want me to run any of the the Brightons, because I have some Brighton purses as well. Somebody's asking where this is made. It's got the serial number inside. I probably should have shown that. So, the woman I bought it from bought it new. So, there is your Dooney and Burke. It's got the serial number on the other side of that tag over there. Uh, it's got it's got another little tag 
on the other side, but I can't read it. Um, it says, I cannot read it. I cannot read it, guys. There's another little tag, and then it's also got the, the Dooney label right there. $5 magnet ad shows. That's crazy. Huh. That's weird. Okay. All right. Um, so I do have the Brightons. The Brightons come with a dust bag. Uh, can you run the bag again? Oh, you got it. It's still pinned. So I'll go ahead and go back to the Dooney. Going back to the Dooney. Oops, I'm going to knock my whole backdrop off. Okay, running the Dooney once more. Yeah, that I well, you need to reach out to what not support. If they get enough complaints about it, they'll change it. It's across the bottom. That is really strange. You can't see pinned items anymore. Just that is so weird. Mas Vita Vintage, thank you for your first purchase. Appreciate you. Yeah, that's crazy. Why are they doing that? Okay. I got to figure out which of these Brightons is which. Okay, this is the pebbled leather. All right, this is a reduced price on these Brightons. They are in like new condition. Um, this is the pebbled leather. It's got silver tone, little accents. It's got the Brighton heart. It is very clean inside. I've got paper in there to make it look nice, but look at the interior. You've got the zippered pocket. Here's all the Brighton tag info right here. There is the other side. There is another zippered compartment under here. Nice deep zippered compartment. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. This woman kept her purses in like new condition. I wish I had bought them all. I don't know why I didn't. All right. Uh, made in... Um, It says, crafted in China from quality leathers, which I would expect that's where Brighton's come from. Everything is made in China. But it is quality. The bottom is beautiful. And it does come with its little dust cover. All right, we're starting it. Now, gently, very gently used. Country Cat is in the lead. That, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I would definitely complain to whatnot about that. Thank you, Country Cat. Appreciate you. I'm putting it back in its little dust bag so it stays clean and nice. And then I thought I had. Oh, stand by. I didn't bring it over. Okay. All right, I got the other one. This is called the Cali. Oh my gosh, this leather is so soft. Hold on, I'm gonna read the tag before I put it up there. Cause I know I will be asked. Stand by, let's see. Um, yeah, this has the same tag as the other one. This has lots of pockets inside. Okay, let me pin this one. Okay, it's pinned. So this is called the Cali. 
Again, it's got the Brighton accents. It's got, um, this had a name. I forget what this was called. So it does say Brighton on the little fob. Um, I saw a name for what they called this color, and now I can't think of it. It is like so soft. It is that really soft, soft leather. Let me show you the inside. Look at all the pockets in this thing. Zippered pockets on pockets. Pockets. Pocket in the middle. Pockets on the side. It's got another little for your keys. Hold your keys in there. It's got side pockets. And it's in beautiful, beautiful condition with its dust bag. Okay, you got all of, don't you knock my display thing over. Don't you do it. Okay. Unruly purse. There we go. All right, this one is starting now. You deleted the app. Nothing changed except I lost all my people I follow. Oh, no. Pewter. Thank you, Gina. Yes, Pewter. That's the name. So here's something interesting. I have different Androids that I use, and different Androids uh, do different things with whatnot. It's, it makes no sense. Some of them, when I'm inputting an item, it makes me put a description, and uh, one of them does not. And they're all Android. So it just really makes no sense. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right. How about a wafer bar pillow? Okay, this is like the cutest thing. I got to bring this back over to lean it against. Oh, it's large and in charge. So it's got the little wafer bars inside. I think you can pull those out, but it's like this big plush chocolate bar pillow. And it's got like all the, the calorie information, the nutrition stuff on the back. 100% uh, cuteness, sweetness, squishiness, happiness, adorableness. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Again, another great gift idea. Stay. You stay. And let me pin him. All right, he's pinned. And he's running. Because who doesn't need a plush chocolate pillow? <laughs> You're too lazy to change your purse. I'm a, I have one purse. One purse. I will use that purse till it wears out. That's how I roll. And Max Guzman777 is getting some chocolate. Some chocolate. Hold on. I got to get these hippos. Stand by. Stand by. Hippo's coming. Hippo's coming. Hippo alert. Because who doesn't need a hippo? Oh, shoot. Don't trip. Okay. I got it. I got this. I got this. We are going to choice some hippos. I don't have a picture of these because I did not have these with me when I made the listing. Uh, so we've got, these are vintage. They are 1981 towel, towel. I spelled it wrong in the listing, but they're 1981 towel. And so we have this, this pink girl here. Oops. Pink girl. We have a skiing, skiing boy with a pink scarf. I think the felt is starting to raise up on this one. There is an original label on that one. They're made in Korea, but they're all 1981. Is he scoping her out the way I put that? That's that's just not right. Uh, let's see. We've got ballerina, ballerina hippo. There you go. And we've got, I don't know what this dude is doing. I think he's skating. I think it's just, uh, he's skating along. Look at, pick and save. 
$1.29. Back. You can't get anything for $1.29. You can barely get anything for $1.25 now at the dollar store, right? Ain't nothing. $1.29. And then we have uh, hands in the air like he don't care. Here we go. All right, let's start with those. I have some duplicates. So as something sells, we can replace one. They are really cute, aren't they? They are starting right now for just $1 for choice. Did you sell the LV sack? I don't know which one you're referring to. Hi, Lynette, over on YouTube. Yes, this is Whatnot. I'm actually streaming on Whatnot where the sale is happening. And then we're streaming, we're multicasting over to YouTube and Facebook. Baja Kata, you get the first choice. Takes hands in the air like he don't care. Okay, let's replace him with, I've got uh, a hippo and a sled. There we go. Hippo and a sled. Whoops. You're just, let's reposition you. That's just not right. There we go. There we go. This is a family show. Okay, they're running. Jessica's in the lead. Oh, Bad Pops, thank you so much. You didn't need to do that, but I so appreciate it. And Jessica's going to take a hippo. Which one would you like? Yes, I will, Vivid View. Takes the skater girl. Okay, she can stop being ogled by uh, the boy now. Oh, wait, no, she can't because uh, we, can, we can put another one up. <laughs> All right, running again. Thank you so much. I got to go hunt down some straw for my uh, my desert tortoises to get them. They're not tucked in yet, though. They're still coming out and getting in the sunshine. Shirley Woodruff is going to take a hippo. Which one would you like? He is still looking, isn't he? takes the ballerina. Whoop. <laughs> she almost played like, like bowling pins there, didn't she? Oh, now we have a stretchy gymnast hippo. Look at that. Stretchy gymnast hippo. Let's put you in there. All right. And they're running. They are super cute. Super cute. Yes, bad boy hippos. Yes. Yeah, I've been putting uh, rugs in front of the, they like go into their, their I have dog insulated dog houses as their burrows. And I have been closing the openings with rugs. And I thought, okay, well, they're probably going to stay in there. No, very next day, they had come through the rugs and were out and couldn't get back in. So I'm like, okay, you guys aren't ready yet. Taking the gymnast, taking the gymnast. Let's see, I do have, I do have another gymnast to add there. There we go. They are running. Running, running, running. Keep those hippos running. Running, 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 raw high. How do you round up hippos? You don't. <laughs> you run from hippos. <laughs> <laughs> and road tripper thrifter thank you very much for your very first purchase which one would you like oh no she's not going to be able to talk while 
she works out the payment issue with the banks. Sometimes it does that. Some banks are a little overprotective of their people. Hmm. Let's see. See if that can get cleared up. Because they, they won't let them say anything until it clears up. And I have a couple here that I just like, those are the last ones. So it really, I told like when I saw my reps in person at the Boss Reseller Remix, I said, you've got to stop this. You got to let them communicate with us. Oh man, I would love a red foot. I would love a red. Oh, she's back. Yay. Takes the aerobics. You got it. Okay. I have a skier. I'm a little hesitant to put the skiers up because their skis are a little a little fragile like so the, the the skis have they've been a little a little tweaked the skis but they are cute oh you know what this guy was a skier oh his skis are ripped off so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna replace him with one that actually has the skis showing and then i have this girl so she's a lot like that other one kind of crouched over only this one's wearing a green dress and he's going to be ogling her too. They're all bad. They're just all bad hippos. Okay, they're running. You had to tell your bank it's you and gave them a list. Nice. Yeah, it seems to do it to like first time buyers. And like after you, like if you buy several, it will do it too. <laughs> Nancy, which one would you like? Nancy's going to take the sled. You got it. And I have another sled there. If somebody else was like, oh, I want the sled. There you go. Sled's still in the running. We're only going to run this a couple more times. They're from the 80s. They're from the early 80s. So, you know, it could still be in the ogling decade. <laughs> Is that when cat calls for a thing? All right, Road Tripper Thrifter. Which one would you like? You remember that decade. Yeah, some of us have lived through that. Polyester suits and pleather. Mm -hmm. Road Tripper, which one would you like? The ballerina with the green trim. You got it. Okay. Um, I have another skier I'm going to put up. You can see his little skis are bent. And they are running. Disco balls, yes. I have a disco ball. I had still have not figured out where to hang the disco ball. I have to figure out where to hang my disc. Would it be really bad to hang the disco ball over the pool table? And then when I'm playing pool with someone and I want to mess up their shot, I turn the disco ball on. That probably that probably wouldn't be good. It doesn't really put off light. That is the pro over a toilet. <laughs> I love it. Takes the sled. Okay, we are going to run this, I think, one more time. One more. Last time to get a hippo. They're running. Your house, your rules. Garage. I don't really have a spot in the garage either. That's, yeah, I am limited with this house. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'll figure something out. I will. I put that big, beautiful fixture. Oh, it doesn't have to be wired. I could put it over my desk. Duh. I could put it over my desk. For sure. I, I don't know why I was thinking it had to be like an existing light fixture. No. No, it doesn't. Jessica, which one would you like?
the guy hippo red and green this one this guy right here yes okay yeah bougie no bougie would be terrified by it bougie would be terrified by it okay we are going to put some hippos aside because we have other things to get to other things What other things do we have? Let's see. Okay, skip that. How about a cricket? How about a very, very large cricket? Oh, this guy is so amazing. Look at him. And I'll leave him on the cake plate just so you can see his size. He's a very, very large cricket grasshopper, whatever you want to call him. Now he only has one antenna but it is literally just a piece of wire. That would be so, so easy to replicate. Yes. Right, Bougie was not a fan. He was not a fan. All right, we are gonna start the large cricket right now. He is wood and brass, wood and brass. His body is wood and his appendages are brass. He is large and in charge. Right? I agree. Uh, does anybody know if Whatnot ships to the EU? I don't know. I don't know where all what not ships do. Okay, no takers on the grasshopper. That is quite all right. No worries at all. Uh, let's do these. Okay. I'm going to sell these together because they're beautiful and they look like they just need to stay together. Uh, they are the Dean Krauser. Hold on. Let me pin them. Um, they're saying like, if you can bid, then, then they ship there. If they let you sign up or whatnot with that address, I believe then you could. Yes. Okay. This is Dean Krauser. These go in a little clear teacup, which, um, I'm going to include them because these are with the dragonfly pattern. They match the cups, uh, but missing the little clear individual teapot that it goes in. You've got this beautiful dragonfly painting all the way around. There's the Dean Krauser by Demdaco. You've got the uh, chartreuse interior. You're getting all of this, all of this. And they are running. That just made me think of the song, all of me, why not take all of me? No takers on the beautiful, does it make it look weird that I have those? What if you didn't need those? No takers on the cups, they are fantastico. Did you guys know it was running? Do you want me to run them again? Anybody miss them that wanted them? They are pretty fantastic -o. Okay, we'll put them aside. Ooh, they will live to see another day. They're pretty heavy duty. Pretty heavy duty. Okay, what have I not run? What have I not done? Let's see. Ran that, ran that. Is there anything anybody sees? Oh, the lion. You wanted me to run the lion again. I remember. I remember you. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm messing stuff up on my computer. Okay. There is the MGM lion in all of his glory. We are running the lion. It's the person who wanted me to run the lion here. Vivid View Design. I think that was you. I am going to start it. Okay, lion is running again. Ooh, yum, bum, 
Uh-oh, did she step away? There she is. <laughs> he is fantastic. And of course, you know, when he lights up inside, the light's going to come out his eyeballs. Thank you so much, my friend. Enjoy him. Really great piece of history there. Okay. I, I don't have a plug near me now. I think he needs a new light bulb too, if I recall. Um, so I've got several things that I've already run. Let's see, there's the platter, the cricket, the cup and saucers, the Rosenthal's and the temptation. Does anybody want me to run any of those items? I, tell me if you want to suggest a lower starting bid. I'm open to listening to that. If that is what is holding you back. The Rosenthal are candle holders, but they do have a little bit of damage on some of the edges. So they look like bats. They look like Batman candle holders. You get a pair of these, but you can see there's a, just a just a little, little bit of boo-boos. Beautiful glass, but they do have boo-boos. I could start them at 10. No worries, no worries. If nobody wants me to run anything else, how about we do some giveaways? We will do our buyer appreciation giveaways first. Let me pin the first one. So if you won something today, then you are eligible to join the buyer appreciation giveaways. I do run them as choice. Let me put the choices up here for you. We have a Delta Boss bucket hat. Let me move that. Delta Boss bucket hat is a choice. Will you? No, you won't. Uh, I have a, uh, a new bag that says mermaids have more fun. And it's got this cute little mermaid and a turtle on it. It is new with tags. New, never been used. We have, okay, we have a little, we have a little rooster who, he's had a little nose job. So he's had, he's had a little repair. This is why we are giving him away. Okay, so, little rooster. We have, oh, this is one of those plug-in little bubble lights for Christmas. I think Santa is missing a little nose, but for you crafty people, he is a choice. He is a choice. This is why I do this choice, because I have, you know, there are some orphans that need homes. I have a little bath and body works, a little satchel, a satchel-y thing here. What are they? I've got a little, uh, a little black satiny purse. I believe it is vintage. Black satiny purse. Okay. And what else do I have? Oh, 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 oh. I got it. I got a little book. I got some books. I got a prayer book for Sunday schools from goodness, where are you from? You are from, you are from, stand by, you are, ah, manufactured USA, 1911, 1911, folks, 1911. I love my buyers. I like to bring you fun stuff for the giveaway. And, uh, and then we have Lord of the Flies, Little Lord of the Flies, little booklet novel there. What do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that'll, I think that'll do us today. All right. This is a giveaway. I pay the shipping. I pay everything. You can enter if you have won something today. I will do three. I will do three of these. And then I will do a general giveaway for everyone. Oh. 
I sold some jewelry already. Yep, but I'm gonna do the the. I'm going to do the leftover jewelry from the other day. I'm going to do that on Monday along with my mystery jewelry jar. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going to pull a winner right now. Let's see. Grammy K. Grammy K. Which item would you like? Taking the plug in. Taking the plug in. Arlene, are you making notes? Stand by here. I got to make sure. Oh, I gave you my post-its. You took Whoops. my post-its. I couldn't even do it myself. <laughs> so that's Grammy K was our first yeah, winner. I got it. And we're pinning the second one. 3 p.m. on Monday, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Hey, don't forget to uh, set your clocks back to dreary and miserable time zone. Do we change our clocks this weekend? This weekend. You're kidding. No. At least I've seen it all over Facebook. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not happy. No. <laughs> no. Not happy about this. All right. I've got 14 entries. Are all my winners in? I just realized I could spin this thing without turning the uh, the whole contraption. All right, we are drawing our second winner. Friday night, I am glad you mentioned Friday night. Lady Lola, yay! Which item would you like? So Friday night, please tune in to my YouTube channel, The Niche Lady. I will be doing a first Friday live at The Good Stuff. And we will be going through all of my amazing vendors booths. The book? You want the, the, which one? You want the, the prayer book or Lord of the Flies? Prayer book? The old one. Yes. You got it. All right, let's pin our last buyer appreciation giveaway, and then we will do general giveaways for all. We are going to start at 4 p.m. Pacific time. 4 p.m. Pacific time. And Noah, Noah will be present for that shenanigans. Because I know everybody loves Noah. Really wonderful Friday, yes. The hat, the hat is a like a bucket hat. Here, I'll move this over here. The hat is a little bucket hat. And it just says Delta Boss, kind of embroidered on there. I don't know what Delta Boss means, but it looks like a new hat to me. Stay, there we go. Please explain yard ownership to dogs. What do you mean? Noah's the hunk. I cannot look at Noah as the hunk. I am sorry. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> He's my baby boy still. Okay, I am drawing a winner. 66 Brenda. Oh, it's a chat joke. <laughs> 66 Brenda, which item would you like? The striped bag, the little uh, bath and body works. You got it. Okay, this next giveaway is for everyone as long as you are on a phone or a tablet. It will not let you enter a giveaway from uh, a computer, sadly. I don't know why. It makes no sense. Well, makes I, sense. I think they did it because people were making bots. Oh, yeah. And right. uh, I think their programmers are very Apple-oriented mm -hmm. and not so much programming for the computer and uh, droid, if you will. So they said, ah, let's just get rid of it on the computer. Mm -hmm. Desktop goes away.
Again, please make sure you guys are following me on my social media channels, uh, YouTube specifically, Facebook. Um, there are some things in the works that you guys will want to know about. But that's all I can say. That's all I can say. You want the roasted chicken? <laughs> All right, I've got 70 entries. Anybody else? That's not even half of you watching. You're not allowed to say, but I can say that the, the jazz dance number is coming together excellent. Yeah, oh, gotcha. The choreography is amazing. Yeah, yes, thank you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Noah's tap dancing skill is fantastic. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh-oh. Why did the chicken cross the road? You know what they want. Because! <laughs> Never disappoints. All right. Is everybody in? Let's draw a winner. Boop. And it is Bobby Meyer. Bobby Meyer for the win. Is that your last giveaway? Or you have another one? And she laughed. I have one more giveaway. One more. Yeah. There we go. I love it when you laugh at my jokes and then win. <laughs> All right. Takes the black purse. Takes the black purse. All right. One last giveaway. And then I am going to raid you guys over to pick a road who's doing birds and cats. And we're starting with a giveaway. And starting with a giveaway. Uh-oh. It's doing that doesn't want to load thing. Gosh darn it. Why? Why? What not? Why must you do this to me? It's maybe the highest. It says, I love it says, this is embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Try again. Okay, I'm trying again. There it is. All right. It's pinned now. It's maybe the highest concentration of hoot ever. Oh, my. <laughs> what's the chicken? What do you mean, what's the chicken? It's It's just a silly joke with a silly punchline that everybody loves me to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 60 entries. A wake up app. <laughs> I could do that. Oh, I could totally do that. Oh, he's not staring at you hard enough here. He says, enter the giveaway, everyone. Or Danny will do the joke again. <laughs> Why do I have to wake up at 7 a.m.? Because! <laughs> Coffee time. All right, let's go ahead and pick the winner right now. Cheryl's Cool Videos. Cheryl's Cool Videos. Which item would you like? Oh, my gosh. So when I was raising horses, um, I slept with a baby monitor under my pillow in foaling season. And that's when I discovered roosters crow all night long. Oh my. Yeah. Mm hmm. What did the chicken say to the owl? I don't know, Carrie and Marie, what, or Karen Marie. What did the chicken say to the owl? Good night, Dawn, my friend. It's taking the rooster. The rooster's going to a new hen house. All right. All right let me... I go live? Why don't you go live? Okay. I can't raid you if you're not live. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everyone. That was super fun. Um, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, but it's possible. It's possible. 
someone had wanted the hat, but they did not win. It'll be, it'll be here for a future giveaway. It'll be here for a future giveaway, guys. Again, please, 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 you guys, I there's only so much I can say on what obviously I'm on their platform. Please follow me over on YouTube where I can spill the beans on everything going on because there's so much going on. And uh, I want to share it with you. And I'm like, I can't, I can't hear, but I want to. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I love that it's sweater weather. I mean, I don't, but I love the clothes. So I guess that's, that's the trade off there. Um, I hope to see you all tomorrow evening for first Friday at the good stuff. We're going to have loads of fun. I've had all the vendors stock their booths and, uh, let me go ahead and type in some rateage. Uh, boop, uh, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. And let's see. It's showing them. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.